Economics 101, you know, like Larry says. Common sense? Common sense, yeah. Uh, economics 101, how you succeed economically and not just think about all these programs and throw all this money to programs that have been deemed a failure in the past, you know. Liberals and the Democrats believe in utopia. It's like gun control. It's never going to happen. If you stop gun control, people can make the, gun, the guns. And I'd rather have guns and not fertilizer bombs. You know, what McVeigh did with the fertilizer bomb. He killed once 168 people in, in a second. So a gun is better because you hear it and you attack it, you stop it. So we take all the guns. Criminals can make their guns. These kids are deranged. It's completely different. I just heard Obama in San Francisco today. He said, uh, nobody should have an AK-47 or whatever. That should not happen. I was like, well, it shouldn't happen. And I believe the movie, The Basketball Diaries, gave the inspiration to the Columbine killers. And since then, there's been more than 60 sh school shootings. Have you seen that movie? The Basketball Diaries. I saw it. This is what Leonardo DiCaprio, the cute kid, does. Takes a shotgun, goes to school, and kills the, the, the students and the teachers. And this is what these kids have been copying. Copycats, crazy kids on drugs, the parents are not there, and this is what's happening. It has nothing to do with guns. It would be worse if they use poison, you know, poison their water, or, or use a fertilizer bomb, you know? It sounds like your views are right of center, would you say? Absolutely, I'm a right winger. Uh -huh. And uh, are you from uh, Latin America? Right, I'm from South America, Argentina. I was born in socialism. I know what it's like to hear your parents since you grow up, your whole life, they are saying, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, and it always gets worse. And you cannot believe that it's gonna get worse and it gets worse. And here they go to their graves without seeing you know, success, and I'm not talking, you know, you might be inventive, you might have something, you know, an invention and make a lot of money, but to live well, middle class in Argentina is destroyed. It was one of the richest countries, and when Europe started promoting socialism, um, it took in Argentina as well. And in fact, Perón, which is the equal of the Democrats here, and of course he's dead, but I mean, he, no other party wins in Argentina almost 60, 70 years. And in Mexico, there's more than 100 years of socialism. And this is what we get. These countries are a failure, and they're all coming in here. And then when they get here, they want to make this country like their country. I'm saying, why don't you stay home if you want to change this country to socialism, since you were born in it. Look at in Europe, the invasion of, of, and also the race card, how people talk about the U.S. being racist and Europe, the white countries, the Anglo countries being racist, and yet all these people, Mexican, Hispanic, Arabs, are flooding into white countries. So who's doing the right thing economically? Uh -huh. Is it racist to oppose illegal immigration? No, absolutely not. I'm, you know, I'm not Anglo. I don't think, I don't know if Trump is going to make it, but I don't think he said anything racist. He says Mexico, which he didn't mean Mexico sends the people. He just said a lot of rapists, a lot of people that come here are rapists and criminals. He didn't say they're all criminals. So right, right. it's like they take what they want to take. Right. Um, what about uh, granting asylum to the uh, illegals already living here? Well, that is more complicated, you know. Most countries are not obligated to give asylum to, you know, 20 million people or whatever it is, and yet the U.S. is. You know, the U.S. is like an open park for the rest of the world and for the Democrats and the liberals that want to play the utopian and victim card and the compassionate card on Mother Teresa, I care so much about the poor, and Hollywood, you know. How they play the victim card and demonization of the rich while they are the richest people in the world, Hollywood, you know, they're like, you see every movie, there's a line there about rich people being bad. I don't have a problem with rich people. I mean, I'm not rich, but I want to be rich. If you hate the rich, then don't be rich, stay poor, you know, and if you hate the U.S., don't use any invention to come from this country. How about that? Turn off the air conditioning, <laughs> which most countries could not live without, you know. Uh -huh. uh -huh. How many uh, Hispanic conservatives are there? Is it common within the Hispanic community in America? No, it's not common, and it's really annoying. I mean, it's just a, the promotion that Hollywood worked up in the last 
couple of decades have been very successful. So uh, Hollywood, I mean, the Hispanics used to be more religious, more family oriented. oriented. Now, however, they're more, oh, I'm not religious, I'm just a spiritual, the Hollywood mantra, you know of equality, which is not, but uh, sadly, and they don't want to admit it, sadly Hispanics will say, well, you know, there's the dichotomy of, of um, the contradiction that they think that they want common sense, they want good economics, they know the U.S. is not racist or else they wouldn't come here, right? So, but you, most of the time, most people are not informed. I was ignorant myself. I was a Democrat, liberal, in name only. Why? Because my best friends from the U.S., I would ask him at one point when I got older, because when you're young, you don't care, right? When I got older, I said, hey, what's the difference between Republicans and Democrats? And this friend of mine said, Democrats are for the poor and Republicans are for the rich. That's all he said. And I said, well, I shall be a Democrat. This is how most people become a Democrat. And then after 9-11, I studied modern history and I switched. Like Reagan did the same thing. He was a Democrat and then he saw the Democrats you know what I mean? Intolerant. You said what? You said Democrats are? Huh? Say that again. I said, um, we thought the Democrats were the tolerant, compassionate, for the poor. And it turns out it's not true. And this is what Reagan discovered when he was a Democrat. In Hollywood, he saw that they were, he didn't agree with a few things the Democrats were doing. And they, he got boycotted. He got blacklisted. So then he realized that Democrats were a scam. And this is what socialism is a government scam. And I'll give you an example quickly. In Argentina, there was they have a hero that wrote a lot of tangos, the famous music and lyrics. And I just found out, and I didn't even know, and most Argentinians don't know their history anyway, but uh, this guy was blacklisted and died poor and broke and malnourished because they, they blacklisted because he discovered that Perón was a fascist. When he discovered that, he moved away from Peronismo, and of course, as being an artist, all the artist community, of course, was liberal Democrat, like here, and they blacklisted it, and this is what they did with Reagan, the same thing, and, and a lot of stars in Hollywood. I just want to see uh, Tim, Tim Allen at the Laugh Factory. He's got a show, if you haven't seen it, called Last Man Standing, and he is full conservative, and just, he says, jokes against Obama and Hillary, on TV, because now he has his own money and he's got enough, you know, patriotism and passion to put some money. He's one of the producers, and uh, I just hope that Vince Vaughn and 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 you know, um, John Voight and all these actors that are right wingers, including Bruce Willis, start putting money and having more sitcoms. You know, because the sitcoms are the what's educating the common public, and that's why they are liberals and they're Democrats and. They're think, oh yes, poor people, let's let them all in here. Not realizing that they're not going to have a good life. We're losing jobs. I mean, I've been here many years. Too many to count. So I'm a citizen, you know, but even I do see on Twitter lots of conservatives, Hispanics and Latin people that do not play the victim card and they, they have common sense, which is there is a moment where you're going to have to close the gates. Okay. Same in Europe. I was in England three times, they, they bounced me, they didn't let me in many years ago. I was in France going to, with a ferry, you get to three different ports in London and they didn't let me in because I didn't have enough money on me. Yeah, they sent me back to Paris and I, in, at, the, at one point I had my son who was a baby. I was like, back you go, you know. But the United States is forced to open the doors and let everybody in. Hey, we don't have enough jobs, what do you want to come in here for, you know. so. Are there many Hispanics who oppose uh, increased uh, Hispanic immigration? You see them, I see them on, on my Twitter account, on Facebook, but I don't see them on the streets. If I go to a store, most of the time, well, you yeah, know. How would you know? Oh, because on Twitter? No, no, on Twitter you know, but if yeah, you meet yeah. them on, yeah. If I meet them on the street or at a store, because we talk, you know, maybe we say a few words and boom, they come up with the line, you know, they're for Chirla, they're for La Raza, I mean, you know, quickly. And, and all these people, and this is what I feel bad about Americans, because they can be naive. You know how many magazines out there that people make for free? I mean, they don't charge, so you can grab them. Uh -huh. And they're full of... Socialists? Yeah. They're full of lies and 
hatred for the U.S. They're here, they're making money, and then they advertise, and they make money, and they bash the United States. Are they promoting a revolution? Well, they don't go out that much, you know. They're not, some of them are, La Raza and some gang members definitely are. But some of them are like, I know a South American magazine and they annoy me so much I can't read it anymore. Because they're always like, oh my God, the guns, you know, I mean, it's like, you want to go to Argentina? There's no guns there. Why, why you come here? Stay in Argentina, you know, stay in Mexico. There's no guns except the criminals and the government, you know. You don't want a gun to defend yourself? Or do you want to call the cops while the guy's going to rape you? You're going to call the cops? Or, or kill your house inv invasion, you know? Dr. Petit in Connecticut, you read that case? They followed the, the mother and the daughter from a, in the market, and they came to the house. The, they hit the dad on the, in the head and threw him in the basement, and they killed the, the mother and the two daughters. The husband survived. They had no defense. That's Connecticut. That was before. The, the shooting, you know, of, by Adam Lanza. But anyway. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay.